Did you ever see this tiny planet video effect and wonder how it's made? That's exactly what I'm going to cover in today's tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create the tiny planet effect in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. Let's get started, but first let's see today's intro. Welcome to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm gonna show you how to create Tiny Planet without 360 camera in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. So currently we are in edit page, so let's jump into media pool, grab video clip and put it on timeline. We're gonna close the media pool, we're gonna remove audio file, so just press Alt and click on it and just press backspace. So that's it. We're gonna first we're gonna see if this is time lapse video. Yes, it is. So let's highlight the video clip and let's jump to Fusion page. In Fusion page, you see as usual media in and media out. So let's disconnect these two and let's highlight media in and press Shift and Spacebar and go with mirrors. So add mirrors and just drag it down beneath the media and just connect this one with media. So we have we have merge node now so let's connect with media out. So what we have done is we just mirror one side to another side. So basically you can see that we have the original beneath the this one here. So next thing, let's go to merge. Let's uh, just click onto rectangle. And what we can do with this uh, rectangle? So it will help us to match uh, both sides. So left one with the right side. So you can see that it's different. So we have to match. So horizon and we have to match this cloud so how are we gonna do that we're gonna go to soft edge and we're gonna pull it up a little bit like this we're gonna pull border width a little bit more just to see here and for now it's good so let's hi highlight uh, merge node uh, go to uh, shift and spacebar you can go and just uh, type transform or you can go easily here in quick tool select so just press this one we have transform why transform we have to change the canvas from canvas to mirror or wrap i prefer wrap so we're gonna go with that and uh, this way uh, we have basically follow uh, the tiles directly so next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna add another node so press shift and uh, spacebar and we're gonna go resize so why resize because we usually tiny planet is is a, a proper square so we have to do it as well like this so we're gonna change the width and the height so let's go to height first press right click and uh, go to expression click it and just connect this one with width so now we have basically perfect square uh, 1920 1920 so if we want to go a different way to go with uh, 1080 just click on width go expression and connect with height so this way we're gonna get 1080 1080 but if you're working like 4k go with 920 uh, s before so easy you can change it so as i say expression connect this one with width and you have 920 920 
So next thing that we need to do is let's hi highlight resize, go to shift and space bar and we're gonna coordinate space. So why we need this? Because this is the tool that basically convert regular picture into the circular one. So let's press coordinate uh, space uh, node and go to shape. Now I can see that it's uh, really weird. So it's because uh, we have rectangle to polar. We have to change it to polar to rectangle. You can see now that basically we have done our uh, tiny planet. So we can go back to edit page. You saw that it's easy and uh, we can wait that the computer check the video clip. We can go to full screen and we can play it through. So now you're going to see probably a small line here. I don't know because uh, when, you, when you upload to YouTube, uh, some things are not visible as uh, usual. So on, on my computer, so let's go back anyway. And I will just show you what to do. Go to rectangle and just change the softness a little bit and change the resize. So this way you can see here on the top, you, you can observe here, I will move it now. So we change the border width and we change also the, the soft edge. Let's go back and see what we have done. So let's go full screen. So the line is not visible anymore. Uh, looks much better than before. So one more thing that we can do is if you need to be full screen, you just highlight it, go to inspector and change zoom. So you can do this with that kind of uh, video clip that you have. Otherwise, if you have more, more land or more uh, buildings than sky it will be very difficult you saw it in our intro uh, that some of them they have skyscrapers uh, and uh, it's nearly impossible to to do it like uh, in proper way so if you have images like that or a video clip like that it's easy to do so let's see it again and you can see basically that all small details can be visible here and uh, we can do different things as well so I, I will show you a few more things that you can do so if you go to transform you can basically keyframe everything if you go here and you will see that we can just pull it around so it will circle around and this is uh, what we we're gonna do now so as I show you here I put my playhead on the beginning keyframe it and just grab this playhead drag it to the end to the end and just move the tiny planet or the square so that the square is out of the screen and let's go back to edit page and we can play it through so it's no, not static anymore it's uh, turning around so this is additional value to that so just if you want to do a few more things you can also change the color or uh, I'll show you another thing so let's bring in also color correction you can change the color corrector with color corrector the color of I don't know the whole thing or if you want to do it you can go just go to reset go to uh, polygon and just put some lines in and you can do like this and we can go 
like back to and we change the color so let's go back to polygon and change the softness of the edge board width and now you can see that it's completely different so let's go back to edit page and you can see here that we have changed this angle here so if we go back to zoom out we've got a complete image so otherwise you have to color it a bit so 1.8 will be okay so and this is it if you have any questions regarding this effect please let me know down in comments and uh, see you next time easy and fast as usual if you find this tutorial helpful hit that thumbs up leave your feedback suggestion or comments below and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to watch my other tutorials as well see you all next time have a good one